Hold it down. Hey, Wiley. Can you believe we're at a one owner 1972 HD16? One owner. I can't believe that. One owner. This is such a cool story. We're in the great peach state of Georgia, and it's just, it's a really cool story. Let's talk about the, the piece of equipment. We're going to get it running, obviously. And <laughs> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy. Uh, the owner of this particular, this is an Alice Chalmers HD16, bought brand new in 1972. What did he say, around $30,000 or something like that? That's what he was thinking. He's he guessing. Said, he he said was guessing. He wrote down somewhere, yeah. so he might can let us know before we yeah. leave from here today. Yeah, he said he was estimating that it was going to be not, uh, about, about $30,000 brand new. His grandfather purchased it, and he's used it. Uh, and they used it for years, and then he parked it in 1991. Is that not what he said? Yeah. 1991. So that I mean, I ain't a mathematician or nothing, but that's like 67 years. years. It says 67 years if I did my math right. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, hey, Earnhardt, four. You did your math as usual. <laughs> I'm the entertainer, Riley. Yeah. Hey, listen, it's got an Alice Chalmers engine in it. It's just a big. I mean, it's a big machine. D, a D7 size. Yeah. yeah. The reason they parked it was the rear seal was leaking on the final drive back here. And you can see where it has leaked over the years and stuff. And that, literally, that's why they parked this thing. But it's been a good running machine. The gentleman that's letting us uh, film it was talking very highly about his grandfather and his father. And um, he could tell that he was really uh, ec excited that, you know, this might this might see life again so let's take a tour of the of the upper upper deck oh it's got the old deluxe model captain seat in it i'm telling you what's the truth it's got a heck of a, a wow. roll over protection you ain't getting yeah, yeah you ain't worried about that are you no golly so it's got an oil pressure gauge 30 or up plus or minus 60 on the amps temperature gauge fuel gauge trans lube and then something else down here. I think this might be, I can't see what that is. Maybe an engine temperature, maybe right there. Uh, I'm sure this is like a choke or a cutoff valve thingy. The air cleaner element right here is about 27 inches in diameter. It's got steering brakes, clutches, a decelerator, a blade, power range. Uh, I mean, it's just, it takes Squidward to run it. <laughs> I'm telling you, you need eight arms to run this yeah. thing. Wow. So it, uh, it is indeed a really, really cool machine. How many hours? Oh, these these levers, levers, levers. There we go. Hold on, I'll let's see if it's got some hour, an hour gauge on it. That one's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take, we'll Don't some. break nothing with your super, superhuman strength. With my superhuman strength? Yeah. Hydraulic fluid here. Okay. Um, let me look for an hour meter. It could be where the batteries are. We'll yeah. take the back when we find the battery box. It could be a meter okay. in there. As old as it is, it might be right there. Yeah, because I don't see they nothing. I wasn't worried about hours back then. No, that's right. Yeah. I'm going to throw some PB Blaster on this, uh, these levers and stuff. Because they are stuck like chuck. It's all stuck. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But it's a it's a really cool. This is awesome. Uh, do y'all get do you get excited about this like I do? Well, I enjoy the old uh, the old iron. I really do. Shoot in 1972, I was just uh, <laughs> being weaned. <laughs> being weaned. <laughs> oh. All right, being winged. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Riley. All right, Let the old PB blaster work its magic here. We're just gonna soak it all down. Some rust prevention here. Um, I'm just hitting everything I, I, I see to. See the hit here? Yeah. 
We were all familiar with that. He just about hit me. That's right. Well, that was by design. I tell you what I need to do. Put some uh, lubrication on cables and stuff, you know? Yeah. So we're going to fire this bad. I She's what, a bad you, if man, you get, Majima. If you do get it started and you uh, be able to drive it, you would be a good operator if you could get it out of that tight spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks like they may have built stuff around it. Who's doing the smooth operator? Smooth operator. Yeah, let this set, let it soak, soak it in, baby, soak it in. S uh, Sade, who did this thing at? Was it Sade? I don't know. Smooth operator. It's got a really good base. Or unless you're talking about. Uh, I, I don't know what kind of construction company the family had, but having a W this big, they was they was. Serious about it, weren't they? They were doing something that uh, build on a road or. Well, he told us, and was it this machine? They the the city of Donaldsonville hired them to clean a ditch. Yeah. If it wasn't this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no. But he was hired to clean a ditch. Or something. Yeah. That was. All right, that should be enough. You know what we should do? What should we do? We should get them to send us uh, the liquid and put it in a pump-up sprayer. <laughs> like a garden, like yeah. a... Uh, Just back. put a mist on it yeah. before we get there. Cover the seat, spray her down. <laughs> and oh. also I was thinking, Hank, that uh, I watch a lot of these farming channels and they can put their beans and corns in a and tell about the humidity and you know the, oh, okay, yeah. the moisture in there. Sure. I think we should come up with something we could scrape the rust, uh, put it there and just see how long it actually has been sitting. Carbon date the rust? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he did say it's at 1991 is what he said. Well, I'm not, we know the history on this one, but yeah. for the ones that right, right. people don't believe you when you say 15 years right. every time. Sure, sure, sure. But when you look in his uh, bio, we will not come unless it's 15 years <laughs> Oh, this is this fourteen and a half. We won't be there. We'll see you no, next fall. We'll see you see. We'll see you next fall. Yeah. Okay. What say we check the oil in this thing? You want to start checking some fluids? Well, I tell you what, it's, I like it because you can. It's, it's easy and accessible. Oh my gosh, that looks really really high. Yeah, let me get you something to. There's the uh, raise that long. Huh? The top drawer. This one. Long, yeah, yes, sir. Looks like you could get a remote. Well, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, at least everything should be accessible. This thing's definitely making all a few mark, full marks about five inches up the stick. Six, yeah, here's the so here's the full. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it was up here, so let's just see again. Well, what's it doing there? If it's above the full, what's it doing? Uh, well, but the oil looks good. It don't look like there's water in it is what I'm trying yeah, to say. but it's making oil. This thing's making oil. Yeah. Where's it at? Way up here. And the other one's where? The full mark, like right here. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, actually, here's the full mark. So See it's there. it's still, but still, it's two inches. But all the oil could have come out of all the crevices and just leaked down over the years. Yeah, we can call it that, can't we? Yeah, of course we can. All right. So what we'll do is, I uh, this thing's going to run no problem. It ran with part. Yeah. You'll take these uh, you'll take these filters off, these fuel filters off, and just dump them out. Be ready for that. Well, we can. Yeah, we we'll probably need to do that. Go check the fuel in it. I mean, you put your sniffer to it, you might not have to. <laughs> What's the fun about trying to start something with fresh fuel? <laughs> you get all smelly to begin with. Let's see, that's the fuel up here, right? Yeah. 
That's a really nice seat. Fuel oil. You got a hammer? There's a small hammer in the... What about this? Use something of the dozer. Use what the dozer gives you. The dozer will provide. Let me get you a, a fuel checker. No, it's got it's got its own stick. All right. And and it's got. Uh, how are you gonna make the stick taller than the? I mean, it's got some in it, but man, is it? It smells like varnish. Kind of varnish you smell. Mm -hmm. it or kind of. How, when, when's the last time it was fuel? Man, this how thing. Oh man, he bought this down at the corner of 17th and 3rd down in Malone, Florida at the Marathon. Yeah. And it was so long ago that it was actually the Marathon. They hadn't got to the Marathon part yet. Anyway, and it's got, it's got like coffee grinds in it. Hmm. It's not clean. Or the, it don't, it don't appear to be clean. But you know, back then they used to burn all kind of this crazy diesel. You know what I mean? It says fuel oil, so who knows what they put in it? You know? Let me check the hydraulic fluid. Fuel oil. That's what the the cap says. Fuel oil. I've never heard that. Mm -hmm. Seventy-two. Oh, it's got plenty of hydraulic fluid in it. We're going to cut our way out of here. We're going to cut our way out of here, Wally. I think I think that was an add-on roll cage. I'm sure it was. When you talked about the stick, it probably was open cab. Yeah. And they added that for safety. Um, he did talk about they took this track pad off because they were going to split the track to uh, work on the drives, if I remember correctly. But man, what a big chunk! Up. Yeah, Stop progress. what a chunk of metal! My goodness, that fan belt. Oh, that's two. That, that's two fan belts. I thought that fan belt's four and four inches wide. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, wow! I love it though, man. Okay, let me check see if it got water in it. We ain't gonna run it long anyway, so. And it's cool out. The good thing about big machines like this is tons of places to put your foot, you know? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> Uh-oh. What we got going on here? Something. Oh, my gosh. Wally. I mean, I'm talking about ladybugs. I tell you, every time we've seen the ladybugs, it started. Well, we I just dropped a bunch of ladybugs into the coolant. You might not have. You might have ruined it then. But it's green. The coolant is green. I'm going to shorten my path back and forth. You got to walk half a mile that way and a half a mile the other way. You can get your steps in. So this was a four-way blade or a six-way blade? Well, I was going to ask you what this uh, was over here. I mean, that obviously picks it up and down. But that one must tilt it. This yeah, one, it's at least a four. This one actually looked like it did the blade that way. It does, don't it? So that's a six-way blade. No, it's, 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 ma it's, it's a manual. You'll have to manually yeah. angle it. Right, these here. Right. And that's well, like we I'm talked. Not, I'm not sure. Maybe this one does do that a little bit. It just don't look like it. But it looks like it would take the blade and kind of mm -hmm. make the cutting teeth bite more. Yeah. Um, but this big old thing, you really weren't finessing the ground. You were just. Oh yeah, you yeah. This ain't a finished dozer. dozer. <laughs> I don't know the terminology of an old dozer man, but yeah, they were just rolling it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, brother. Well, what you want to do? 
You gonna put batteries in it? You think that might need changing? <laughs> Maybe. Well, the trailer's been sitting here in front of it. It's a 1998 tag. That bring four hundred dollars in scrap iron right there. That thing's heavy. A little bit of ants on it. Um, I was gonna get the batteries out. Where they go right where? I assume right there where the HD sixteen is on the where side of it. Yeah. Oh. I assume right there. Yeah, they're in there. What do you call them? Group 31s? Uh, those are 4Ds. Yeah. They're two four. Oh, gracious. I don't even know if we got enough battery to... Turn this thing over? Turn it over I brought over. three. Um, um, pull, turn. There's a... Oh, that's, that's the disconnect right yeah. there. So let's take the bolts out and we can take this... Batteries, yeah. Yeah. Take these out right here. Yeah. Hey, Wiley. Hey. I went to the deli the other day, and I told the little kid behind the counter, I said, I'd like to buy a bagel with cream cheese, please. He goes, we only take cash or credit. Hey, Hank. <laughs> Let's do less joking and more smoking. <laughs> Wait a minute, that come out wrong. Let's, <laughs> yeah. let's joke and let's get this thing smoking. There you go. Really, I don't think that classified as a joke. I don't know. I don't know how funny. much. Huh? Don't a joke have to be funny? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I mean, really. I'm not sure if it does it's or not. It's got to be. I mean, a joke has got to be funny in order for it to be a joke. Is that true? Because if that's the case... You've been yeah. breaking the law a long I've time. I've been breaking the law a long time. The old D walk. 20 volt. Let's see. Nice. Been a while, huh? Been a while. Alright. We got one. Not bad. <laughs> Two out of three ain't bad. Oh, probably help if you take the socket with you. I got a breaker bar in there too. Uh, I'm take. Use your man hands. He's so strong. He's so strong. Oh, I knew. There you go. I'm gonna let you do the rest of them so you can claim responsibility. <laughs> man. How did I know that was gonna happen? Come on. Oh, mercy, Wiley, you're always breaking stuff. Come on. This one doesn't want to go. There you go. Alright, put the, uh, don't put your extension on it, but put the, put the ratchet right there and I'll use this 240 pounds. <laughs> it won't be quite as much as you was using. I don't want to lift my leg over my head. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, huh? Good job, Wiley. <laughs> so, 
me and you both. I think ladies. that's going to be the answer on the, all of them. <laughs> yeah, all. probably. All right. Yeah, sure did. It will come off for sure. Ugh. Wow. Oh, good right, okay. A lot of rust in there, Wiley. I think uh, more times than not on this old equipment, you see more Napa batteries than you do anything. Yeah. Or Napa batteries that come from Napa. Napa Valley. You ever been to Napa Valley? No. Me neither. I've only been to uh, San Diego in California. You ever been to California? Never. Never been. It's a beautiful state. Not not too sure of their politics, but I don't get into politics. But uh, look at this uh, this disconnect. Yeah. Right. So pull and turn. Yeah. But I don't know which way. I would assume he took the batteries off. He just he strikes me as the man kind of man that would. You know. Yeah, how about moving your wreckage stuff? All right. What you assume clockwise is on. That's going to be the ground. And hot. Uh, you need some wrench, wrenches to take the, uh, you need some PB blaster on this battery terminal? I'm sure that it's going to. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, you're hitting it. I wonder what kind of hay that is out there. Hey. Hey. You know, they do a lot of, uh, Peanut hay. Deer love peanut hay, by the way. So in 1991, in 1991, the Gulf War was ending. Young Airman Hamilton was, set, you know, fighting for his country. And I got married. You got married. Um, what size do you want? Or what do you want? Half inch, probably. This is probably going to be like what we were dealing with. Well, I think the bolts might be a 7 sixteenths. That's not. That's a 9 sixteenths. That's a half you're using. It's kind of rusty on this side pretty bad. Yeah. Matter of fact, there's not even nut on that one. Look yeah. at that. Look at this. The whole... I've never seen a, a battery in just... Oh, wow. Disintegrate like wow. that. This one has too. I guess this is where it caught the moisture sitting on it. Oh yeah, Maybe. probably. Yep. You got any battery cable? We got some vice grips, ain't we? That's right. Well, all right. Leave these not, not in the weather. Yeah, you can tell, can't you? Yeah. How bad is that starter to get to? Oh, <laughs> it might be easier to get to the starter, huh? Yeah, we... Didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. Um... Probably the other side. Yeah, let me go. No, uh, oh, that's a hydraulic. All right, let me look on the other side. Uh, it should be fairly simple. 
Yeah, it's got a big old honking hydraulic. Well, if we can get it right here, I just want to wonder. Worst case scenario, we can get it here. You know? Okay. Just, there's a couple yeah. of hard lines to get in between. All right. Alice Chalmers, we did a video of an HD6 Alice Chalmers, and that thing was sitting for 20 something years, and we got it to fire up using gas. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. You want to try it up there first? Yeah, might as well. <clears throat> I, I need to. What'd you need? Pliers. Uh, yeah, I'll get them for you. We get Alice Chalmers operators out there. Leave a comment if you uh, if you've driven one of the or operated driven operated one of these before. Ooh, it's been a lot of time since somebody sat in that seat, dude. What? I need to get this off. Now we need to cut that. Need this thing just gone so we can get a good connection. Okay. I got a grinder. Yeah. I cut and wheel on it. No, I'm sorry. We don't need that one going. Oh, no, we don't we need, need it. And he's wrong. Come here. We need to get this one. Oh, let me get that hammer back. Yeah. Is it hammer time? I had a guy tell me. He left a comment and said, y'all need to quit BSing so much. Um, and just start working. And I thought, you, is this the first time to this channel? <laughs> I guess I'm under. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hold on a sec. I like. I watch this channel called Puddin's Fab Shop every now and again. Oh, you yeah. good? And uh, he said he's got something in his intro, something to the effect of, if you take yourself too serious. Then this channel ain't for you, buddy. <laughs> I thought, man, that is so true. Don't take yourself too so serious. I talk about this in several videos. The, these videos ain't about this piece of equipment. It's about me and Wiley coming out here having a good time. <laughs> Let's take this out. Good time, buddy. Yeah. Pull that out. Oh my gosh. I don't know, man. Am I man enough to carry one? Of you? I doubt it. You can do it. It's got little straps. A little. They're probably dry rotted. They'll probably fall in. Don't let it hit the Georgia boot. Uh, let's get that where we can get right that on the hot. Hotter one. We need to get that hooked up to a hot. Some like it hot. What? what? So you're going to use, we're going to use this same old thing and let it spark? I mean, what do you want me to get you? I, I, what I was talking about, we need to, we can see, but let's get something to clean it off with, get some vice grips. And, you know the connection's not going to be good. If, um, let's get the grinder and, and, and cut that right there so we can buy it, so we can get, I guess that might do it. Let's clean this up and we try it. Hang like that. We're no short. Yeah, well, that, it's self-critiquing, ain't it? Yeah. Wouldn't that be something? Is it self-critique? Wouldn't that be something if we just come here and put a battery on it and call it good? Yeah. It would be. That's just a testament to those old, how they built these machines. Can 
Mitch like us back in the day. Uh, they probably had huh? they probably had smart mechanics. They'd knock us in the head. <laughs> we put up on the jobs back then. Ain't about the it ain't about the mechanics. It's about the journey. Okay, right. nice grip. And it'll tap tap down. It'll tap tap down on it. About fell off, you see that? Get as tight hand as your manly hands will let you do it. Turn it up so I can put the other set on here on this other side. There you go. Alright, let's get the other one. Battery? Yeah, negative toward me. I would get it, but I'm up here. <laughs> Funny how that works, man. Huh? Funny how that works. Funny how huh? oh, Funny strong. There you go. Let's clean that one out. Crazy, this thing is fire. I forgot where it was the other day, and a guy that had seen the video of you like cut my hand off with the chainsaw right there. <laughs> I said, Yeah, I still got. Oh, he was over there trying to start some, some old trucks. And you was whining about it? No, I mean, he's, he was concerned. He's seen it. He's seen the blood splatter everywhere on the screen. I'm saying he was concerned because you had cried about the whole thing. He was like, oh, I heard you crying about it, so I figured you. All right, we'll tap that right there. That might tighten that paint. I untightened it. Here we go. And a little jumper wire. I got you. I got you. What'd you eat for supper last night? Uh, well, actually, I eat. What did I eat? Oh, chicken, boiled chicken. I boiled some chicken. Boiled? Boiled me some chicken. And I don't know, I wish I would have filmed it because it was perfect. I never could do it again. I added the right amount of salt and pepper. I'd go make me some chicken salad. But I couldn't wait on the salad part. I was going to burrow me some eggs. Just think if you got that other battery that had the top post, we could have. I know. You know. I was just thinking that. But I'm not firing you from the battery toting position. You're doing a fine job. You want to do it, just put vice grips on both of them? Uh, I'm going to make it difficult. I like being difficult, Wiley. Yeah. You got beat up a lot. In, it's whatever. In elementary school, you know, we were just talking about this the other day. When I, when, I, when I grew up, I was telling my wife, she was talking about, my wife had never been in a fight before, ever. And I told her, I said, how did you grow up? I said, I mean, I was in two dozen fights before I graduated high school. You want slick mouth. <laughs> well, you want, I won some and I lost some. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> even, but I tell, even if you win, yeah. it hurts. I mean, you still, yeah, you, you lose. You lose because they're going to punch you in the face. I ain't been in many fights either. And uh, I'm all about love and peace. And I violence. know. Uh, my, uh, I'm not about the brutality of your savages. Yeah. I. Uh, it's funny because, you know, we've I've killed a lot of men. And I'm not proud to say it, but it's, it's different when you're doing it that way. Yeah. Let me see if I can turn this thing sideways. There you go. Let me help. <laughs> I want to help. I say, Hank doing all the work. Why oh, yeah. ain't doing nothing? Oh, yeah. They'll, no, they won't say that. They'll still say Hank ain't doing no work. That's all right, though. 
I pre I pre you know we 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 razz about that a lot, but we just we're totally joking. It's we appreciate the viewers. Yes, we do. Without them, none of this. That's is right. Possible. That's exactly right. So you make all the comments you want. Yeah. You know, make them all that you want. All right, we we think this is well. Here's a good thing. They didn't have to buy the big cans. <laughs> it's got some in it too. Yeah. Sure How can we poke a hole in it and pour it down? Okay. <laughs> All right. Next. <laughs> uh, did, did those levers loosen up by chance? Not too good. Did you get the? Uh, you need to clean that off. It got some dead information right there, and right here it tells you something. Yeah. To tell you the weight, I would like to know what this thing weighed. All right. Right here. See it? Yeah. I'm just looking at this oh, safety. It says safety, uh, so you probably had to. Yeah, we're all about safety, ain't we? Yeah. Oh, you pull that back and then see how it yeah. bridges across it there? Yeah. Like a bridge. Yeah, come on, Elvis. No. Neutral. Neutral. Not Elvis and Stop. Simon and Garfunkel. No, Elvis did a much better version. Over trouble, water. Power, shift. Oh, so it was a powered shift transmission. Mm -hmm. Where's key? I doubt this one had a key, huh? How do you drink it? Well, let's see. What in between your legs? Ain't nothing between your legs, is it? So to speak. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This will be the key. Yeah. Pull that. Let me see where it comes out at over here. Oh, yeah. I see it right there at the injection pump. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Good Lord, how messy. That's got a big old oil cooler there. Yeah, I saw that. I mean, wouldn't the wires just come close to the batteries? You wouldn't would think. Let's see if I can track them from here. Right top of. Oh, here it is right there. Where? Where? Right there. Oh, right, unless that's just, yeah, that's it right there. Bump it, see what happens. Just see if we got any far. <sighs> So this is probably your glow plug, right there. And then My this. fat wouldn't let me bend over that far, Hank. Yeah, no, nothing. Okay, see so if we got well, it. Hold on a sec. Yeah, I'm going to try a couple of different options. Yeah. Hey, play with the oh, well. disconnect. Yeah. That's good. Don't give me yes sir me. <laughs> I think that's just a glow plug. Uh, I mean, that's a starter button for sure, but. I think the one on the right is the starter. I mean, the one on the right is the glow plugs. So, it's in neutral. Start, so that's correct. So that has to be up there to start. <coughs> Hopefully you ain't got to push. Hand me the, hand me the tool that the dozer gives us. <laughs> See if we got any fire here. Probably need to play with that ground. Oh, let me let me try. Let me, this don't matter. Yeah, this does matter on the starter too, don't it? Yeah. Okay, let me let me turn it to the other one. All right, now try the. You think we ought to? I mean, it'd been a lot less sparkier to get the. And then I got one more position to try. We'll be trying it, young man. All right. There's only three different choices. There's one choice, 
There's the second choice. Uh, there you go. Hmm. I know. It's not hitting hard. I, I, you got it. Let's uh just try see if we can knock some rust off that starter with a little bit longer pipe. Okay. Like that size if you can find one and it's uh I've got a uh, uh just some with a little ump to it. How about that blue digger bar? That too big? No. Yep, put it right. Try it? Yeah. Don't tell me what to do. I had lobster bisque last night from Publix. I bet you ain't. We got the. I wonder can we go 36 to it? Hook the third battery up. Okay. And see if that'll put the right. Because you know, a lot of times the 12 volts on the 24 volts, it'll just click like that. It just. And those was two 4Ds. Yeah. Or not 4D. That's the question. D4s? <laughs> I don't know. 2B or not 2B? <laughs> well, now I throw the other battery on it. I say, yeah, I should be able to I've get I've never it. hooked one up on a 36. I mean, I guarantee you it ain't a 36 volt system. Well, it wouldn't be a 36 volt that, system. It'd just be that's something that would be. That's a joke, Wally. <laughs> I can't tell when you're joking. Excuse me. That's probably a 60 volt system. I got to <laughs> I think if we just run, match these. No, hang on a minute. How are we going to do that? Yeah, because now you're just increasing the amps, right? From two batteries. These two batteries essentially act as one battery. So you would hook these up together and then hook that up? I yeah. would think I would yeah. think so. Okay. Well, that's what we'll do then. Negative. Goes on last. Positive. Look at me learning. So we'll put, the, we'll put that up there, vice grip it. Lobster bisque from Publix. My wife said, I bought you some lobster bisque because she knows I love lobster, right? So she was like, I bought you some lobster bisque. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to hang on. Just be careful right there. Why is that? I think I'll be careful. Yeah. Okay, that's the what? The positive and that's positive? That's correct. Now for the negative. I want to put the negative on. <laughs> uh, 
Now you're gonna look at this one. If you, if you won't, not, no, no. This one? Why not? You know, with the same battery? Yeah. No, nah, that's the way sissies do it. That's gonna be the right way. Okay. So let me take this. You wanna hold this up here so I can vice grip it? Oh my gosh. We just went over this. <laughs> I'm pretty strong, but I do have another battery too for one. Oh, in your truck? Yeah. We really want to just keep on. Is that tight? Yeah. Thank you. No spark? Yeah, it's sparking. Why is it sparking? But it ain't like shouldn't be sparking if we got these two the same, should it? Uh, but it's, I don't... Yeah, there you go. You do have it. Alright. Well. Yeah, it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. You're waiting for a meltdown right there, ain't you? Mm -hmm. Let's use what the, the tractor provides. What the tractor provides. It just crushed that. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe this. This will probably work. It worked till it won't. That's exactly right. Alright. Hey. Okay. It's simply did any good. We just increased the amps on that one battery, I think. Right? Not the volts. I'm not sure how you make it. But all I'm saying is that that's, these have got the amps, right? These are bigger amperage batteries. Mm -hmm. So we just help. That yeah. would be like that, right? I would think so. But I mean, whatever we did didn't work. Did that sound louder? I was on the other side. Does it sound any different? Or no. Hey, uh, let's take this inspection plate off right here and just see if we can get a bar on that. See if that happened to be the flywheel we can maybe turn. See it right there? Yeah, man, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Half inch, nine no, sixteenths. That's like a half, don't it? Right there on the. I bet it's not metric. No, it's a half. If we get, I just need a socket. That's all. Look, top left. One more. Yeah. Breathe in, breathe out. Something. You always want something. Got to be starting Where's your gun? something. Can't get it in there, can you? Oh, maybe. I need an extension, please, sir. You see anything out? <laughs> Dap my forehead. I'm sweating. I definitely don't want these to break. Oh man, that that thing was loose as a goose, dude. Seriously. What does that mean? What does that tell us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ugh. 
that tells you that that PB blaster works. That's what that tells you. I'm talking about. Now I'm talking about loose, bruh. Yeah, I wonder why that's loose. Harvey, Illinois. Is where they was made? Mm-hmm. They have a lot of equipment made in Illinois. Man, wasn't they? Probably because of the farm, farmland up there. What do you think? John Deere and Moline. I wonder how far Harvey and Moline's apart. I wonder they just crossed the creek. <laughs> I can't believe how loose these were. Look at moss. For my Spanish speaking friends. Probably tractor equipment sold this to the man out of Montgomery. Could have been Larry Owens back in the day. I think Larry Owens was the uh, Alice Chambers back then out of Montgomery. Yeah. Where's that big bar you had? It's on the other side over there. Is that the one you want? Yeah. So let this be a lesson to you kids. Keep your keep your stuff lubed up. <laughs> if you don't use your stuff in 30 years, it freezes up. Which uh, is that too that big? Might be too big of a mouth, or whatever, whatever you call it. Yeah. Uh. Oh my goodness, see if that engine's turning that easy. Yeah, the fan's turning. I Good see. Good gracious, alive. Yeah, the fan turned. I saw it. Yeah. Do it again. There, yeah, see? It ain't locked up. What is it with me and you and starters? Lately. I wonder if you hooked the battery straight up to the starter. I'm just, it's like you can read my mind. <laughs> it's like we've been together. We finish each other's sentences. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> you are <Man>. reading my mind. <laughs> Hank, you want to try to? Where you at? Right here at the battery. You want to try to kill the batteries? With your switch there? Or are you taking them apart? Yeah, I'm just taking them apart. I was going to bring them onto that side. Okay. We got room to put them, hook them up? I think so. I think we can get to the cable pretty easy. Hopefully that'll be... Hopefully they've got some... Hey, uh, what is that? You might have to take that loose. That's gonna be three quarter. I won't I won't put much pressure on that to I won't break them both. Yeah, that's right. Where is it? I need uh the PB. I need you now. The, the what? PB lasher. Uh, I think I said it on top of it, yeah. By the hose reel. By the way? Hose reel. I need you now more than words can say. somebody uh, somebody left a comment talk about my bad singing yeah they did on my channel too Hank. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Deal with it, people. This I just got to tell these people that, you know, I had a recording contract in Nashville one time. They don't understand talent. <laughs> well, they might not understand it, but they know it when they hear it. Yeah. At a, uh, I don't know understand how a rocket works, but I know it when I see it going up in there. <laughs> I always think about, there was this dude, and I can't remember his name, but he was a an artist, a musical artist, and he had this song out one time. It's like, uh, Babe, you got what I need. You know what I'm talking about? But you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. No, don't ring a bell. Anyway, he was. He, yeah, he sings like me, right? I'm like, how did that guy make it? <laughs> Listen. Yeah, I got a great voice. You don't believe me? Just ask me. I'll tell you. <laughs> Hey Wiley, I need to look at my retention graph and see when people leave the video, and you'll see it's when I'm singing. Well, Hank, you got to you you can't really do it when you're singing. You got to do it like five seconds after. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because the reaction time <laughs> it stuns it stuns them really, and they I can hear them yelling at the children. Turn that music down. <laughs> that ain't me, Paul. All right, let me go get the cables and such. Tote this over there. You got the riches out already? Uh, I mean, they're, yeah, I do. Just take like this whole roll we right done on this side, I think. What? I'll take these. And I'll tote these batteries. I mean, I'll tote this over here. I, so, I got the, the, when I used the word tote, it reminds me of this time I was in the, I was in the desert, in the Middle East. And my boss, a Fulberg Colonel at the time, was a major, I think for sure anyway so he said hey I need you to make a report on how many aircraft it would take to carry this much cargo to here I gotta I gotta send it to the general true story and uh, <laughs> so I said yeah no problem so I did the calculations and all that stuff and so I sent him an email and it said hey you need three c-17s to tote this much cargo and, and one c5 and you'll it, it uh i think that'd be enough to haul all that stuff or whatever it was very slang very very unprofessional and uh but i just thought you know i just thought he was going to put it in a report of some sort well he comes back the next day and he says what you put in that email i said i don't know i just think something like you need these, these big old air, airplanes to, to tote this stuff and blah, blah. he goes dude man the general is like where'd you learn where'd you learn how to write emails at like alabama or something <laughs> He goes, I said, sir, you didn't, you didn't QC it before. So you didn't proofread it before you said, he goes, no, I just for, I'm busy, man. I just forwarded your email to the, to the general. I said, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I won't, <laughs> I won't do that again. Oh man. It was funny at the time. I guess you had to be there. I'm not good at English. I got a socket that might fit in there. Would that be better? And another one bites the dust. I'm just thinking we might could, it, it probably would do it well. But if we break these off, Hank, we can replace them. They got nuts on them. Oh, you're talking about here? Yeah, we just take that off. Oh, okay. I thought, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let me go get the half inch impact. I thought you were taking the starter, lug, the lugs off the starter. If this don't work, we break out the air cap. I know yeah. Thinking about a cheeseburger. <laughs> Was the nut turning back here? Probably, huh? If you turn it a little more. No, it's not anymore. Feelings. 
Nothing more than feeling. Why do we get this thing cranked up? That's going to be pretty awesome. We can get the nut when we get this off. And this should come right on off. Yeah, hitting right there. There you go. I believe it comes up now. Where's the pry bar? Ain't no plastic on this thing, is there? <laughs> I don't want to catch your fingers in there. I hear about it for two weeks. You can cut my fingers. Where I like that is. <laughs> My word, what a starter, golly. What's that hose on it? Huh? Yeah, what's that protective hose on it? Just like to keep it from grounding out or something? Yeah, that's the hot. That's probably what it is. Somebody be doing some pre vent it's mate. Oh, that's good. You know what? I got a, a cordless ratchet at the house, and well, I need to maybe throw that in my toolbox. You know? Yeah. All right. You can put the impact on there now. Hell. You want not fit? In there? That small one? It's just, yeah. Us and starters, man. I was hoping this would be an easy one. We'd show up, have some good times together, and leave. I'll take this opportunity to uh, tell you about the Hamiltonville Farm Scholarship Fund. It, uh, we're raising money to send kids to automotive technical school, Votech or whatever you call it. Anyway, we're trying to raise $2,500 to give a scholarship out. If you're a student and you want to apply for the scholarship, put it across the, I'll put the link across the screen here and it's also in the description of the video. Go click on that apply. Uh, I think you have to do an essay. Uh, if you want to donate, it's 100% tax deductible. It's uh, There's no hidden fees. If you donate $100, you get to uh, write $100 off your taxes. And when we raise $2,500, $2,500 goes to the student's institution to help pay for their financial, uh, their tuition. So there's no admin fees, nothing like that. Um, so if you would consider it, please click on the link in the description, but it's across the screen here. As of the filming of this video, and this is what, it's kind of uh, disappointing maybe, but as the time of the filming of this video, we've, we've announced our scholarship probably in three videos with about 200,000 views between the three videos. We've raised $225. So out of 200,000 people that have seen the video or have potentially seen the link, we've raised $225. And I was like, man, if, just imagine if all 200,000 would have given just one dollar, that would, you know, we'd have a, a plenty to send a lot of kids to school. So if you think about it, or if you, uh, you know, would consider it, we would, we would appreciate it. We want to try to raise 25, at least $2,500 uh, to send a kid to school. The, the program will run, the donations will run through April or May of 2024, and we'll pick the winner in June, July of 2024. So please consider it. Uh, we would appreciate it.
Oh, uh, can I get a wire brush, please? Ugh. Uh, maybe. Can you get a wire wheel in there? No. Just if you got anything with a, like a brush or. Uh, yeah, is it, if you it, ain't, I get by without it. Is is it in the uh, look in that battery cobbling kit, Wiley? I had one that was not very good. And I think Man, I think I don't it was. I see one. I just see some honey buns and. <laughs> yeah, I. I had one in that kit, but I... Oh, no, here it is. I got it. Give ourselves a fighting chance, right? Yeah, at least we'll know if it was losing it. Which one you want to use for the ground? Uh, which uh, cable? Yeah. I thought we'd do the one that's got the black on it. Oh, it don't fit over that. I'm not sure that'll fit over that lug. We gotta get bigger clamps on that. You know? Yeah. Definitely gotta get bigger clamps. There's one right here too, Wiley. If you would tighten up on that while I hold it. Hold this in there. Eight tenths at a time. Ready to be easier with the wrench. Uh Nah, let me see if I can get a better angle at it. This might give us a little more swing. It's all right. It's going. It might be easier with a wrench. What size is that? It ain't easier with the wrench. <laughs> it's almost there. There you go. Don't don't give me any credit there though. That's easier. That's about the same. <laughs> see that see how that works. Is it tight? You tell me. You was holding it. Let me get one more. Oh. Yeah, tighten it up. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff happening down right there. If I had a shorter, shorter ratchet, that would probably work. I just awkward. Enough for you? Yeah, well, it needs to be tight. I can't, I couldn't feel it. That's for sure. Because it'll go to frying. What size is that? It's a three quarter. I believe you had it tight. We don't have anything with a I'll be back. I might have a longer cable in my truck. All right.
first see of that was in uh, Yes, sir. That'd do it. That sock is deep enough. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. There you go. We'll put that in the battery box. Keep it for next time. Put this here. Get it out of Wiley's way. That goes there. One thing about working on dozers is tracks. Tracks are good to lay tools on. Where's Wiley? <laughs> Don't be Wiley. <laughs> what are you bringing me? Patience, grasshopper. <laughs> Patience. Good Lord. Huh? What are you going to do with them? Going to hook this one up to the starter. I've already got it. You already got it? Did you drill it? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Why don't you got the batteries hooked up? Have you already did it? Let's see, I got a screw the top right here. That's the, we got the colors mixed up, don't we? Yeah, that's ground in your hand there. Yeah. Right. You want to put both, of, all of them on there? That's nice, your, uh, This is negative. Alright. So. That's positive. Yeah, positive, negative. And no. That's you 24. Got, you got the, that's positive? No, this is negative. Okay, it's got to be like this. Then these two will come together. Gotcha. Well, we'll see how it bumps. This is the same as going to be that starter probably. Well, what if it bumps and then grinds? Because what I've always heard is there's nothing wrong with a little bit of bump and grind. Oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. Oh Half inch and nine sixteenths. And a five eighths, I think. We're gonna cover all our bases. This is it, Wiley. This is gonna crank. I hope so. Yeah, it's gonna crank it. I hope it was just wasn't getting the right yeah. amperage to. Yeah. But I'm thinking the starters just sat there so long. 
Yeah. Everything else is locked up. I'm refroze up on it except the motor. Yeah. All right, your turn. Uh. Screwdriver. You think it'll be? Let's see if it'll click over here. Oh, okay. I doubt it. I doubt it. Just keep on, maybe some rust will fall off of it. I mean. Can we turn that flywheel now? One more time? One more again? I mean, it's already open and it's easy. You know? I really believe the. I believe what we're hearing is the. Cellar. Bendix engaging, but it's just. Yeah. It's not turning in the starter. Right, right. right. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. 100%. You better agree with me. Doggone right, sir. I mean, yeah, it turns it's easy, isn't it? Yeah, super easy. Super, super, super duper easy. I'm just. I'll go get you a long screwdriver. Yeah. 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 Doing the same thing, ain't it? Man, that stinks. Yes. Uh huh. Did I hear something different? Doing some welding. Mm. Well, so you've engaged the. Uh... That's what I wanted it to do. Oh, okay. Try to free it up a little. See if you can push the starter button in. Let's see what happens. Okay. Ready? Yeah, hold it in. <laughs> Watch your fingers, buddy. Ready? All right, hang on now. All right. Let's take the exhaust off. Uh, okay, nobody panic. We're in good shape, right? Pardon me. Get the ether. Um. Yep. Right here. This, this okay. Is that in? Yeah. So out is off, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So I'm gonna push it in. That's right. I heard somebody Hank screaming at the camera. Yeah. To go out there and do that. There you go. It's going into it's going into fuel right here. It's going. You know what? We've done it before, and they just fire, pop off. That's it? right. All right, you got the button and the ether. Okay. And I'll do the starter. Ten four. God, I hope it ain't in gear because ain't nothing gonna stop this thing. No, it ain't. Uh, this got the safety switch in neutral over here. Oh yeah, that should be working after 30 years. <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh. You, you ready? Yeah. Woo! Hey, hold, it. hold it down. <laughs> this, this is dangerous. This is dangerous over here. <laughs> I'm, uh, 
You need some safety glasses for real? Ready? Yeah. It's gonna fire it up, dude. Oh, you hear all them juices flowing? Look Come at, here, Chef Ash. Look, yeah, look at that. Holy cow. That thing is. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, if I'd have got to the qu ether quicker, I could have kept it running. You know? Oh, my You got one job. Listen. Let that cool off. We'll do it one more time. I'll keep the ether on. I just didn't want to lock it up, you know? I'm what... Sounds like the batteries are going dead too, don't it? Yeah. They're not hot. We're going to fire this thing up after 30. It's Listen. fired. Yeah. 30. How many years? 32? Yeah, well, you can, you can go as long as you want on this one. Let's, uh, why don't we let it rest? Where's your uh, filter wrench? Um, Let's do what you want to do at first. <laughs> about filters, because I think it's worth yeah. doing it. Trying to get some fuel up there and let it pick up. This is going to be awesome. No, why is that leaking like that? No, I think it's all that PP blaster. You know? I know this ain't going to be pretty. <laughs> you want to try a ratchet strap? Yeah, you definitely don't want to plug a hole in it, you know? No, you don't. It looks like it's right at it. I broke it just then. Yeah. Uh, come on, Hank. There's the bleeders right there. Let's see what that'll do. What? Look here. Fuels. It's got a fuel pressure on it. All right. Awesome. Maybe we'll start ta stop taking the starters off. Yeah, and just start using the dual dual action there. Yeah. This thing didn't have a fuel shut off over there that you noticed, did it? Uh, just a kill switch. You know? Yeah. Where's this hydraulic oil coming from? That when it was spinning so much it... But I mean right here, where's that? Yeah, it's just probably one of them pumps turning with the engine and just... I just don't see any holes there for it to come out of. It's just corn fusing. You know, and that and not behind it. It's under it. It's yeah. Coming out from under the rust. The rust wasn't there. It's been going on the track. Uh. Howdy ho, neighbor. <laughs> but we ain't getting no fuel out of the tank. No. None. Oh my, that's old. That should just be pouring. How much did it have in there? A lot. <clears throat> Air compressor. That or either see if it's got a, a fuel. Like a pet cock or something? Yep. Yeah. I didn't see. I mean, there's nothing. Let me look behind the seat here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a valve over here, but it's on. I 
I mean, yeah, it's got plenty in it. How many batteries you got in your truck? Uh, two more. All right, I'm just thinking about the next piece, you know? Uh. Hey, will you look in there and see if that thing's got fuel in it? I brought gas. Oh, yeah, land full. Okay, good. I guess it's going through. Now we can hear it. You can hear it bubbling. When you push through it. I need a rag. Let me go. Uh, yeah, I got an old shirt back Right here. there in my driver's side door? Yeah. Right there, there's, there should be a rag in there. Yeah, I need to take that home for a dish towel. <laughs> nice. That's nice rag. Yeah, I need to take that home for a dish towel. Nothing in it. Mm-mm. Hey, go the other way with the cockpit. With the... I need a pair of pliers. I wish my arms were about two inches longer. If I had a fuel fitting, one of these days I'm gonna buy a kit of like JIC fittings. You know what I mean? Yeah. For fuel. Uh oh. Do one thing. Let's go back. And let you. Let me charge it back up. And you push it through there and see if that does anything. Push out it here. out this way. Okay. Yeah. All right. We we'll let it build up with a little air. Is there? Is the. Uh, Outlet tube on the bottom of the tank on, you know, okay. If they don't push it with a hundred pounds of air, how about letting that tailgate down for you? Nothing. Where's that thing you were thinking with? Right there. See it? Right. Right there. You know, Hank, I, I, I'm just the fuel is shut off because if it was just a hose collapse, you would get air coming out of this hose here. Yeah. No. 
The moment you've all been waiting for. Here we go, ready? Yeah. Damn. Okay. Uh oh. It's not clicking anymore. Did we do something? Yeah. I burnt the stinking wire off of it. I no, it didn't. There it is. This don't click anymore. Something's happened. If it'll click now. No. Nope. Hold on, I ain't got the ether. All right, whenever you're ready. I think them batteries are dead. Y'all get to see an hour and y'all get to see an hour and twenty minutes of it, and we we uh, we need to. <laughs> Either get a hotel room or call it good. <laughs> Wiley, good college try, my friend. Yeah, I guess so. We got 750 John Deere bulldozer. It's been sitting a long time too. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully our batteries are charged enough to to make that happen. And then if not, I don't know what we're going to do. But anyway, hey, listen, we appreciate you guys. Consider giving to the scholarship fund. We would appreciate that. Uh, we thank thank you for all you do for us. That's uh, uh, it's a, it doesn't uh, go unappreciative, I guess you would say. So, will it start? Yeah, it has started. If you put enough, if you put another two hours into it, you know, I think we could have got it. But we just, you know, we're a long way from home, so we got to get back to the house. Appreciate you guys watching. Take care. God bless you guys.